Boom, first shot. Perfect. That was pivot, pivot beginning. I can't shoot through all this ice. You need to move. I think this job is going to require three darts just to be no, on no. the safe side. Yes, it's two done. Okay. Stupid, Stupid machine! 30 seconds to do this. Can we do it? Yes! Did it! Yeah, I shot the guy thrice! Sorry, the rhyming is contagious. One of these days he's gonna get served. Yeah, the grid is gonna crush that little nerd. We should complete. Uh, I did it actually sooner. 16 minutes, not 20. I beat what I said. Yay! I guess it's just either I'm that good or I don't believe in myself enough. No. Two missions to go. Do 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 do. Thief net. We do have 600 yet. Yeah, we we're literally 600. Um, you don't need paraglider because we've got paraglider. Silent obliteration. Oh, wait, no. What is that? Is it 800? No, it's 800. I got it wrong. Oh, well. I guess we have to wait until we get more coins. Because I, I want to get that before the episode ends. It comes in handy. And defeating guys is easy even things. We're at 13%, which will be still 26% of my masks. 12% of bottles and the other two things. 0%! Woohoo! A lovely amount of zero. That's the best amount. Okay, where's the mission? Not the safe house. The safe house is not a mission. No, get the bottle. Oh, well done. Jump straight into the garden. Somehow, outrun him. Outrun the guard! I guess I'm that cool. Loading job. Okay, Sly, this looks pretty simple. Hail Grizz is how you can get the code to his fortress. We need to get in there if we're going to stop him. You shouldn't have any trouble finding him since he's tagged with a homing dart. Just follow the signal. We probably didn't even need the darts. He's kind of hard to miss. Okay, he's on the move, Sly. Stay close so I can pull the data we need off his phone. And don't underestimate him. He's no lightweight. Okay, basically like the previous mission, it's just a fall mission. Just follow him around, follow him. There's a guard. Stupid guard. Where are we? There he is. Come on, kill the guard. Where is he? There he is. There's like sections you have to get to. Okay, right there. Okay, wait, wait, wait till he's finished. Jibber jabbering. Come on, Grizz. Yes, we got something. We got ourselves a lava rock spirit. And we're gonna kill him. Crap, we got a bit short. Where's Grizz? There he is. Where is the Grizz? There he is. Oh, wait, we got, we got that super speed, don't we? There he is. There is the guy. 
Where is he going now? Talking to him. No, he's talking to some guy on the phone. Oh, no, well, I guess we got another bottle. Just what we need. Just what we need. Come on, Grizz. Oh, he's, he's standing still again. I think that's the next checkpoint. There he is! Being really slow. Very tellingly slow. Come on, Grizz. This definitely feels like a side mission. These following missions are always... have always been inside. Do this without fail. Well, this is the best way to do this. Just follow him on the rope. Don't don't try and go behind him. It's definitely not as easy if you go behind him. Okay, this is where like the whole thing ends. Now we're going to have a bottle. Perfect. Don't fall off the edge. Okay, this is where you can't go on the ground anymore. There's a freaking penguin. We have got three of the thirty balls already. Poor guy. I feel so sorry for him. Yeah, I'm crying over here. Just stay close. I'm still trying to access his phone data. Okay. Keep going. Use the rope again. What are you doing now? Any day now? Any day would be nice. There you are. Right behind me. Ball of the grids. Keep. Keep. What, the, what was that with sound? Now where are you going? How did you not see someone jumping around in the of his head? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing, mister? Spin! Where are you running to? Where are you running to? Where are you get above them? Yeah. Only thing scary about you is the smell. Okay, I focus in. Do it being on roof. Hello. Don't be on the ground. I'm finding this all pretty Hide behind here. So there's no guards going to appear. Oh, freaking god. Where do I begin? Going this way. Oh, I thought it was a guard. Go away, guard. I want to roll my man. That freaking screwed it up with a stupid guard. Oh crap, I did it. Run. Yeah. Isn't this late to the end? Or not? Where are we going? Yes, we made it. Now let me tell you how it is. I am an artist. I got paintings to create. And I ain't putting up with any more of your excuses. Now, 
You give me the eggs I need for my paint, or I climb through this phone and squeeze them out of you myself. You got that player? Hello? Hello? Why you did that? Damn! I guess that means you didn't get the code? It does. Looks like we're back to square one. I guess the bear got away, huh? Carmelita, it's good to see you. Uh-huh. I'm only talking to you because I have some information for Bentley. I've been telling Grizz on my own, and I have the security code and full schematics for his mountain base. Wow. Thanks. You're welcome. You'll get it to Bentley for me? Of course. I'm headed back to the hideout now, but wouldn't you rather hand it to him yourself? Maybe I should. After all, you're not exactly trustworthy, are you? Ouch. So, we're good, right? Don't push your luck, Ringtail. <laughs> I caught up with the ringtail to give him the intel I'd gathered on Grizz. Half of me still wanted to slap the smirk off his face, but the other half wanted to talk. Working on my own these past few days had given me time to think, and I'd realized some things. Sly may have been lying to me the whole time in Paris, but I'd lied to myself as well. In my heart, I knew something was up, but I didn't want to admit it. I wanted to believe he'd changed, that maybe I'd changed him. But Sly was who he was, and I had to accept that. Although this crazy time-traveling business had given me a new perspective on that, too. In the past, I'd always chased Sly, arriving on the scene after the fact. But now that I'd fought alongside him, with Bentley, Murray, and his ancestors, I had to admit a newfound respect. We aren't really so different. We both fight for justice. We just do it from opposite sides of the law. The question is, can I live with that? Honestly, I don't know. But for now, perhaps it's enough that I see things more clearly, and that we have a common enemy in the paradox. Because I am not going anywhere until I put that stinking weasel behind bars! 